Hello hello guys, karibuni ndani ya Soka Connect, your number one football analysis show. Ndani ya 254 hapa tunataka kupiga preview ya game week 14 na next week kuna double game week so stay tuned hapa Soka Connect utakuwa unapata every analysis ya every game, preview, review, talking points, kila kitu. I'm your host hapa Vigas Kalsberg, Gabriel Khan. Yes, we said the poll. Yes, so yes. karibuni karibuni sana. So No na je game week 14 game yeah. ligi imeanza kuingia crunch. Yes, uh, first of all, welcome Khan Gavin Khan. Najua umejua umejua umekuja na na vitu vingi. Manchester United na kupeleka mbaya. Manchester ni stress on nani. Umejua vile kana cha lifunga wakadani wakadani mali. Celebrate goal of the season. Goal of the season. Celebrate goal of the season. Any goal of the month anyway. Goal of ah, any goal of the month. Hiyo tuiona wapi tena? Ama ni Puskas. Puskas eh? sijui nini kila yeah. kitu celebrity okay. that's the only thing mtashinda hii season <laughs> okay so, anyway, anyway have you guys even by Manchester United they have so many problems than <laughs> than than positive so anyway yes welcome before, welcome again to the show fike kwa manu so far i uh, nearly notice sana sana vinia natupima sana kwa predictions <laughs> so we are going to start a league and we are going to have very simple rules itakuwa na only three rules peke yake. Three points for every correct score predicted. Mm-hmm. One point for every match outcome predicted correctly. Alafu no points for wrong predictions. So in case mtu hayuko kwa set either Siko, Vinia yuko, Kana yuko, Senzo, whoever mwenye yuko atakuwa anatuma prediction yake. Tunaongezea kwa tali ya league so after every show tutakuwa tunaangalia the table standings. Nani amepata more correct predictions? Alafu we will be seeing ni nani sasa anadanganya watu. And then mtatuambia hapo kwa comments mwenye atashinda hiyo league at the end of the season ana deserve kupewa nini. Yeah. Secondly so I think tume, we don't have any other news so yeah. far. Uh, yeah. news imekuwa jana. Yes, kumekuwa na some some news Premier League and Man City. Premier League and Manchester City have now agreed a, a date at which they will face off in front of the independent panel initially scheduled for the late automatum of 2024. So those with knowledge of this situation believe that a conclusion between MCFC and the Premier League may not follow until the end of 2024-2025 season. Though what has been highly uh, confidential process is currently at the stage where statements are being taken from witnesses which is likely to remain the co- the case to remain the case until spring 2024. Oh, it's okay. So I think we don't have much to say yes. but we'll just wait for it to only whatever the discussions and outcomes when is that okay. So I think without further ado to take straight into games. Yes, game week 14. Yes, the first game league leaders title contenders <laughs> top of the table. At AKA Elephant FC Elephant FC Elephant FC History to Nigeria Elephant FC Sima ya kwanza Asema ni mbona kula konga hivi Elephant FC versus Wolves Arsenal at home versus Wolves Yes Arsenal have played 18 games in a row against Wolves na Wolves hawajawahi weka clean sheet 18 times and wame face Arsenal Yes So highly likely Arsenal will score in this game before at Mbali. Gabriel Khan, do you see Wolves getting something? Ah, nothing. Apo, I don't think we understand any chance. Current form of Arsenal is too good for them. So Apo, I think Arsenal will have a chance na pia to score more goals. But I think Wolves will manage to scrap at any moja consolation. But at the end of the day, I think Arsenal will have enough upper hand. Uh, upper hand. So Vincenzo and Kengalia recently come on talks about attacking structure as and all yes. whether they are good enough going forward as this season as compared to last season yes. in the Champions League it's, it's been a different story to the league yes. of which in liquid a confirmed a theory that nilikuwa nayo that in the league teams are showing more respect yeah, true. as opposed to the Champions League because yes. Lens PSV what's the other team yeah, Sevilla Sevilla pia walikuja waka try kucheza slightly open expansive football yes mm-hmm. really sha 2-0 but as well ingekuwa on a good day ingekuwa 4-5 yeah true yeah, yeah. so what, what are your thoughts on Arsenal Champions League kidogo and then if we'll stand something i think kutoka kutoka la season if you could play a team like uh, Arsenal 
ni timu ufai kupatia that open chances ni timu ukifungua game yako they will open you they will widen you watakupanua yote na ni kitu uh, any small team like uh, like wolves now will try to try to uh, squeeze their defense wajaribu kufunga spaces to try to defend deep ndio asal respecta any chances at least that chance uh, but kitu najua na english premier league the, this kind of games ni zile games uh, you you tend to see on them on paper it's like somehow easy for arsenal or will be easy am will be will be a bit easier for arsenal but ukiangalia hiyo game inafika hapo wolves wako na structure very good defending uh, and a very good defensive side yenye wakiamua ku defend poa alafu they i believe wolves are very good in in, in transitions and yeah, they are yeah. very good in counter attacks so if they can uh, they can get some small chances zile a quarter chance ama half a chances and they take advantage of them they might i'm not saying that they will win against sasano but they might get something against sasano if they take their chances yeah talking of, of, of also champions league arsenal scored six goals against lens which uh, some of people uh, expected arsenal to it's like revenge against lens because of the first leg and uh, kitu it was very open i don't know what lens will gonna fix here your game because they really played rubbish wale wale fungua game yao waka waka expose themselves from defensive midfield everywhere and that's not a very dangerous on on such situations because you can such such chances and such opportunities they will kill you and for the first time i think i've seen arsenal scoring six goals for a very long time nikitu arsenal kifunga tena sana ni four goals omemaliza shughuli yao so it, it was a good game against lens for arsenal at the emirates stadium so i i'm I'm sure they will try to do a, do the same against Wolves. Yes and e game I think Arsenal is the team that has kept the most clean sheets in the league so far yes. with six. Yes. Four clean sheets are Raya, Billy are Ramsdale. Yes. Mm-hmm. So and Arsenal has also conceded the least number of goals in the league with 10. Yes. So and another news to keep brush through before we move on to predictions ni off the pitch Tommy Asu and Benoit are being given new contracts are on competitors because they are both right backs as yes, much true. as Tomiyasu plays yeah. different roles but the only the only good thing about him is Arsenal have learned from their past instead of Kwachilia talents bure yeah, true. they are retaining squad value retaining value of players I, I, I think uh, what Arsenal is doing they are trying to I think this is the one of those best goals Arsenal can have and they are trying to put something for future for for now and for future and uh, kitu I'm very very sure eh uh, pia wanajaribu ku, ku leta some uh, academy players and new players so nikitu napatia contract for now but later you we'll just give them chance to go yes plus pia hiyo ku retain value in yes. case uuze mse yeah yeah true and uh, finally both managers wamekuwa very vocal of vr in recent times so it's a vr derby gary onil alikuwa robbed tena on monday sijui kama uliona the penalty yeah but it's full um, So we hope there won't be any drama ya refereeing in this game because we are not ready for another back and forth we are just hoping yes we because we know lazima kutakuwa na tuna in one of the 10 games lazima kutakuwa na inaitwa lazima kutakuwa tuna talking point moja massive sana yeah, true true so nataka toke game kwa prediction yes yeah. okay <laughs> so gabriel can your prediction asino 3 was 1 Uh, I would be noticing a I'm noticing a clean sheet hapa. I think uh, it, it will be a slim win for Arsenal like 2-1. Yeah. Eka eka not you down. We will need it. <laughs> We will need it. <laughs> I think I'll go for an Arsenal 2-0 win. Arsenal 2-0 win. Yes, I am predicting Arsenal and the lay in a clean sheet. Okay, okay fine. 3-1. 3-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2
na the quick football ya Brentford i think itakuwa very hard for Luton so my take ni Brentford ita win Brentford ita win aha uh-huh. okay before Vincenzo dive in i think i think Brentford at home i don't have much to say and plus that supper in asema they have a very good record against promoted sides they've won their last five home clashes versus promoted sides so i'll go easily Brentford win but sidani game to take a prediction ah, yeah. this one is too too direct too light. yeah Vincenzo uh, any thoughts uh, uh, Brentford Luton Luton tend to play very well wakiwa kwao yes. yeah Brentford hapa kwa community stadium it's it's very itakuwa it's very hard for Luton to to come out with, with the result hapa juu even big teams come up on a struggle so yes ni kitu wakijaribu upuzi they will they will they will get what they they want so I, just go uh, Brentford like 3 3-1 win for Brentford I I think Brentford in my opinion I think take a clean sheet but yes. let's move it to the other game. Yes. Burnley versus Sheffield. Like this one was to be in the prediction. Yes. It's a very interesting game. Yeah. Burnley have lost all their seven home games so far. If mm-hmm. they lose the next one, they'll be making a record. <laughs> they'll be making a record. They are the first team to lose eight straight Premier League games mm-hmm. at home. Another funny thing is Sheffield has lost all their away games. So team Ishindangi home in Acheza at home versus like team Ishinda away. Now between the two teams Now between the two teams up uh, they have between 26 matches between the two teams yes. they have only won two matches one each. Yeah. So this one is a very interesting game and I think whoever loses is going to get sacked. Gabriel Kan. Yeah. A very tough match starts and uh, starts on paper you know Nisha, both teams as both teams are struggling very much so jubanli iko home but hiyo home you are side ni actually ni amekuwa au ndo kuna worst record ya home this yeah. season ame pick so, games zote yeah. adi ho awana home advantage anyhow sheffield away are winning pia sheffield away are winning anything so hapo itakuwa very tough match is in one of the games that you will predict even ukikuwa na stats strong kwa paper mm-hmm. so i think hapo itakuwa a draw a draw a, a draw yeah go I for draw give us a score we need 1-1 1-1 1-1 mm. vincent yeah in the game niki niki pana some good analysis in it i think uh, I, i'm predicting a first win for vincent company okay, okay not a first win i think it's a first win but I'm predicting a, a win for for Burnley kwa hii fixture because uh, I'm really I'm really trying to give Burnley a chance to give company a chance in game so I think Burnley will win it 2-1 Burnley win yeah so mimi I think I think Sheffield the owners will be on Burnley to try and win the first home game so yes. I think it might play kidogo slightly into the hands of Sheffield yes <laughs> Although Sheffield are no ways, <laughs> but it might play <laughs> Dogo into their hands. If they play your haram ball, Vizuri was set, a deep block, Vizuri, and then they try hit on transitions, yes. they might get something. I think I'll go, I think I'll, I'll lean towards Sheffield. Roy and Nambia draw, but I'll, I want to be bold to Dogo. Oh, you have one. And lean towards a Sheffield win, uh, uh, two one. Two one win. Yes. So me Burnley 2-1, you Sheffield 2-1, draw 1, draw 1-1. So there uh, so kuna kuna clean sheet kwa hiyo game. Ah kuna. Oh. Yes, hapo you can't get a clean sheet. The two teams are very poor. Yes. Nottingham Forest versus Everton. This one is also another very beautiful game ya kuweka hapo kwa draw. Hiyo na ni. This one will be our third game. Uh, Nottingham Forest versus versus Everton. Versus oh. Everton. Yes. So it's going it looks likely to be a very cagey affair. Mm-hmm. Because these two teams are very disciplined na shape na nini as much as Ten Hag alcon ah, sorry Everton Sean Dyche al concede three goals last time at home mm-hmm. and rec- home record ya Nottingham is very, very good, good very, very good. good they are a very strong side at home mm-hmm. at the city ground and both matches between these two teams to confirm <laughs> the cageiness of the game last season zote zilisha draw And Forest's eight game and beaten run at their ground was ended by Brighton last weekend. Mm-hmm. A 3-2. Yeah, so 3-2. Vincenzo Dyche is unbeaten in the last seven meetings with Forest. Mm-hmm. Also what's your thoughts on this game? It might work or it might not work because it might work like 
maybe for the for your book records there are some history that uh, ama some some stats in huko ngumu ku break but yeah it might not work because the situation yenye watu nyiko sai and the problems they are facing with the the board and the premier league and whatever yani it's like uh, when you listen to last time is is them against the wall yani something is not happening in their club they are wamejipata kwa place nyingine hawako na tarajia ina season kwa season ikiendelea so i think uh, still what it affect because if you look like uh, your game against united last time on cheza they looked a good side but United is the worst side so you could play so it's like uh, forest forest will just win this game forest will win gabriel can your yeah. thoughts on this game i think it's a quite interesting game nottingham are very good at are very good at, at home yes. uh, on the same side everton wana wana struggle not on the pitch yes. joni lifura ya game yao against man united actually they were the better side. they were the better side to be honest so i think apa I don't think it will be that easy for Nottingham Forest and it will also not be that easy for Everton. So up and on a draw. On a draw. Yeah. Draw. Mm-hmm. Uh scoreboard 1-1. Mm-hmm. One, one. One, one, one. Okay, it's a very tricky game. But I can't bet against Forest at their own ground. Uh I think I'll go Forest to edge it dogo especially if Aoni will be back Sijona Sijona news. I think the yeah. game last time they chose against Brighton. So if if he's back I think they win. Mm-hmm. Cuz at home they try they create. I'll go 2-1 Nottingham Forest. 2-1 Nottingham Forest. Yes. And uh, me I'll go for uh, like a uh, a 3-2 Forest win. 3-2 Forest. Yes. Okay, up on at least this is what to go on the same page. So moving on to these two teams then yeah. Zilikuwa na headlines from the Champions League yes. this week mm-hmm. for very different reasons. Yes. Uh especially to the Newcastle. Newcastle was Man United and then St James. Yes. Newcastle I think they tried against PSG. Yeah, well, it was a very well. That was a very good show. Uh, they played really played well. Da mpaka referee akafanya mambo yake. Yes, uh, referee had an had a howler because that is not a penalty. We had the same scenario game here. Uh, Arsenal on the lens the ball hit Magotti and then hit the arm it's not a penalty i it's very shocking because that i think it's that referee in top 2 top 3 mm-hmm. in the world but That's it's right. not his mistake ali tumwa kwa VR but pia angekata because yendo referee ali ref world cup final mm-hmm. na champions league final last in last year yes champions league final na world cup final yes so yes, he's the same. referee is one of the top 2 top cream de la cream referees i was very disappointed and actually was having a very good game up to that point yes alikuwa na allow game with flow advantage foul where necessary card where necessary <laughs> he's one of the best referees so i hope it will be just one mistake <laughs> uh really normal cause Tumezo ya officiating standard doni sana Premier League yetu tunaona kila siku consistently and uh, the only place you can be sure of good officiating ni huko na Champions Europe. League yeah Europe but so actually yeah, I'll be disappointed but sometimes he managed to error mm-hmm. yes they took action the VR team was stood down for the next games the Wednesday mm-hmm. they were not in charge of any game they were stood down kabisa and tukiangalia in the Champions League as well PSG they were so poor as much as well they missed chances they created so many chances mm-hmm. but they missed well going next year karibu for <laughs> and they missed it only took a penalty for them to score and on the other side man united as well were having headlines for mm-hmm. them for very wrong reasons mm-hmm. i think fans of man united tend to wanapenda ku gas up their well, average performances cause kama game ya Everton yeah. this is just my opinion if i'm wrong but nikoso kama game ya Everton united were very average in that game mm-hmm. they scored a worldy ya ganacho mm-hmm. and their second shot on target in that game ilikuwa penalty yeah. so between there they had considered like 10 12 shots from Everton yeah and celery like their fans gas up was they score these worldies and then they think they are playing well kama game ya Galatasaray they score a worldy again from Ganacho a very wonderful near post finish and then another worldy from Bruno yeah. it's 2-0 they think they are playing well mm-hmm. and in reality they are just okay they are just a average performances midfield still unexistent their build up 
is in the pit. Actually, me si Joey Gwanini ya kuanzisha kwa bima ino yo game. Gabriel Khan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think nda kusaid hapo. I think most of our fans wana kuanga deluded. Uh, after, <laughs> sorry for that. After, to be honest, it's true. To be honest, part. true. After the Ganacho goal, mm-hmm. in the, after that, Mbaka 45 minutes. Yes. Boli likuwa kuitu. Kizaza kuitu. Kizaza. Goal line clear. Kizaza. <laughs> Kizaza. And I think ilikuwa tu a spark of luck to li manage kufunga bo tatu. Yes. And I think Everton walikuwa the better side. Yeah. To ki jump into Copenhagen. Yeah. To li bottle. Galatasaray. Oh, sorry. Galatasaray. Galatasaray. Because we're doing United. In, in Europe, they have, they have, you can't away, you have scored nine goals. Out of those nine goals, you, 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 you only have one point, imagine. Yes. <laughs> away at the best league. Very poor. Yeah, to do it to Galatasaray, yeah. uh, I think the decision not to start my no, I think it was based on the the intensity of the game mm. and the pressure in the young I feel. But I think I managed poor Villa Lingi. I didn't mean it was on a side. Mm-hmm. Then how good Kwanzi Shamra, but mm-hmm. but after impact ya maino, I don't think kuna mtu mingina na deserve to start your position. Okay. And I do still do, do, do still have that uh, you the, the Amra but thing. At Amra but Amra but Amra Amra ilisha kufa yoki tu. Tunga de January. In your new signing, in your new signing, acha ende Rudi. Rudi up. Kwanza mm-hmm. United were poor of course but Galatasaray sasa for you to be poorer than Man United especially in midfield and by the way tulikuwa na chance ya kushinda karibu kila game ya Man United nimeochi season the opposition midfield is plus is only go over and James Garner alikuwa ana very good game against Man United ndio kule hadi Twitter niko naona Sam United unajua kwa sangi ya fans wa revisionism yeah true Nikana na some fans wanasema we should not have let Ghana go. Sijui nini 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 James Ghana had a very good game against Man United. Mm-hmm, true. I was so sh- anaitwa nani? Tanga ndo mbele na Lucas Torreira. Lucas Torreira. The, 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 the last player in this world who come come to Villa. But actually was that to me didn't. Yeah, just to tell you because the moment to realize that I will talk Tanga ndo mbele na the the Okaleta Oliveira. The game changed and Ghana started to come to push again waka pusha waka waka piga comeback ya 3-1 paka 3-3 yes anyway to, to the much. main to the main point that's a very big problem and as much as hapo kwa bottling leads two goal three goal leads as much as onana ndo main character i think naelewa is making errors simtete of course siwezi kwa hapa niki play devils advocate for united player yes. but i think united are conceding too many shots we are conceding too many shots too m- nimetoka kuona like few hours ago chat ya shots united wana concede like 14 16 na hiyo reason hiyo ndo reason onana na make a lot of saves yes actually is is very because it's very exposed na pia ndo the reason na make a lot of errors make a lot of errors so you know but of both ways so but ukiangalia kwa the actually some somehow some few hours ago at Ten Hag kwa press conference yake ya the next game game in Newcastle ame mtetea amesema if you are, if you analyze it well you will see that Andre Onana is the second best goalkeeper in Premier League his goals prevented is the second best just to Alisson Alisson yeah alafu the third one Nick Pope Neto Matana Bernard Leno kinelea hivyo if, if yeah. niko correct kidogo goals prevented ako behind keeper wa Luton Luton Yes, Thomas Kaminski. Oh, sorry, the year is a percentage, sorry. Yes, so percentage, percentage that could be in Dallison. Yes. But goals prevented and if you want to if you, if you want to second your point using stats hapa is unaona the company yenye iko top 3 top 4 hapa mali onana is keeping. The company is giving you your Thomas Kaminski, Waluton, <laughs> Andre Onana, Gilmo <laughs> Vicario, <laughs> what was <laughs> sa? Joseph. Ni goal keeper sana kiona game unaona dua ko. Their teams are kizaza. Eh the team zone is all kizaza. Cuz unaona hata tukisoma hapa mpaka na namba karibu 10. Yes. Kuna Kaminski, Onana. Yeah. At actual hakuna top goal keeper mimi hapa. Hakuna Alison hapo. Alison yuko. Alison yuko. I'm prevent 3.36. 
Na I've been saying this Liverpool is conceding so many shots. Na semanga hapa kwa hiyo kila siku. Their defense is their not, defense is not minus them from yeah. midfield yeah. but we'll get to Liverpool later. West Fodderingham wa Sheffield United Neto Neto wa Bournemouth Bandeleno Fulham Emi Martinez wa Aston Villa Alfonso Reola West Ham You see the company is keeping this So is this is a good start and it also tells a lot about the team and your match about the whole team Yes because the Bournemouth and United are very is an average when I'm go go down these are very very busy down, goalkeepers yeah, true and but it's true he's preventing goals and higher shot save percentage ukiangalia okay, kwa nyuma ya Alison Becker yeah. Alison Becker of course is one of the best shot stoppers at actually is the best in the world so I for yeah, me true. Yeah. 81.5% and Ronana 77.3% again ukiangalia okay, list the same culprits after Ronana ni Nick Pope Nick Pope Neto, Neto. Matana, Baneno, Gregorio, Vicario, no other spurs it's starting to catch up. Kaminski, Areola, Kaminski, Areola, McFlecken or Brentford. So it's catching up and we I wouldn't want my goalkeeper in this list ya concede shots na save shots and I'm very happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm very happy David Ra is not there. Yeah, true. Because Arsenal is actually the best as to say Mongo Joe averaging 2.19 shots yeah. on target yeah. per yeah. game. So you can every 90 minutes the goalkeeper and face only two shots on target. That's all he has to save. So sick kama unana ana save karibu eight shots killer and face karibu eight shots on target killer game. Mhm. Okay. Yeah, sort king ya koi game mm-hmm. before twende kwa mambo mengi. Both teams will be looking to bounce back desperately from their Champions League disappointment. Newcastle lako na injury karibu 11 senior players are outside. Mm-hmm. And Newcastle will be looking to win three consecutive games in all competitions versus Man United since 1922. Walipiga Man U last time kwa Carabao na last game ya league walipiga Man U 2-0. So only two consecutive victories. And then Newcastle home record yao tunajua. They have won their last five home matches with an aggregate score of 12-1 at home. Na Man United is the most informed team in the league. Mm-hmm. So in the last six United have won five. Newcastle have won the last five home matches. So it's going to be a very interesting con- contest apa. Yeah, and the contrast between two goalkeepers of course to Mungelele or Nana is and looking unreliable. But Leno do Nana and you are copale but top clean sheets but it doesn't really matter apa. The only reason I got top clean sheets is because Arsenal have used two goalkeepers. <laughs> okay, fine. Arsenal got a six clean sheets. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> That's the only reason na yako na 5 and joint because wako seka wa 3 na 5. Anyway, interesting contrast. The two goalkeepers Pope has been reliable when called upon to make saves. So, muni pay two thoughts on this game <coughs> and then we wrap it up my predictions. Yeah, Come, yeah, yeah. This is your team. Fungua ro. Yeah. I know on paper na joy on paper inasema tuto boy. And nowadays I don't yes. think matches are won on paper. True. Yeah, matches kuna kuanga na some surprising results. Yes. I think it was a very tough match against Newcastle considering wako very in at home wako on form by sana. I don't think we may lose or we lose against Liverpool. <coughs> yes. And uh, we mekuwa ki waki take opponents imekuwa very tough time for opponents of ku face Newcastle waki ko at home. So to king ya koyo match. Yes. I think nitaka tu faith kidogo. Faith tu kidogo. Na lucky kidogo kwa United to edge it maybe a slim win. A slim win. Not that we are good. Not that tunacheza vizuri. But because I'm a United fan na, na hope to for the best. Like the, the only positive I think nikiguzia ni United wako na Players when you're on a very world class moment yeah, like true. Bruno out of nowhere can just pop up Rashford in a world class goal Ganacho tena so Rasmus Island is yet to score in the league as well but very Champions bad. League umeona on a ability if he gets something he can he can score yes so Vincenzo what's what are your thoughts on this game I think uh, it's time it's time United attack kama hiyo forward line ianze kufunga yes They, they 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 tried all they scored against Everton last time yes. but uh, i think uh, this time around it's time for 
for them to wake up because we can I think Bruno is, is somehow trying for them is try and another is a passes because I'm talking earlier Bruno is the is the only player in Premier League with a most expected assist na kona most fouls ya apoko is the most third passes yes. ni kitu wana wana yani he, he always tries to to collect the passes and through passes but uh, it seems like uh, attack the strikers some of the forwards they don't try anything but the Newcastle uh, Newcastle are a very good team okay we're home na uh, okay they should any somehow they like concentration they, they, they lack concentration kwa game some, somehow and they tend to to lose focus especially against these big boys and big teams so wasipo okay wasawa we just focus on it and they will beat united as expected plus nikiongezea tu what we saw between game ya manu na galatasaray manu ali miss chances sana true so if they miss their chances at st james park Newcastle St James Park are a very emotional team in a good way because yeah. when they get one they will go for the second and yeah. the third and the fourth third yeah. game yeah. they, they don't stop so all that said Gabriel Kahn your prediction United to Newcastle one United to Newcastle one mm-hmm. uh, before Vincenzo Pena I think I'll give mine I'll go Newcastle 3 United 1 Newcastle 3 yes yeah Misaki son for Misaki's back me I'll go uh, the same result they got against uh, I think like 2-0 yeah 2-0 yeah 2-0 Newcastle win okay yes. so I think United will get something we'll see we'll see him some Aquelli on Saturday hey and then Chelsea Brighton Mashemeji derby <laughs> these teams I I actually the Brighton derby yeah these teams are going to exchange program They, they have so much between them going on mm-hmm. and they cross over a player star so 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 on the prediction list so see brighton is yes, i think this is a tricky yeah. game and it's a good one yeah so so this is the last one in, the, in our prediction order the second last one this one is the last one to predict in yeah so yeah money go up yeah money go up so i think let's put this one as the last one for this week what about uh, total spar uh, that one we know the results we get there <laughs> so okay na iko hii exchange program ya chelsea na brighton kuna tu one team ina benefit because ukiangalia ukiangalia <laughs> chelsea waliuzia lamti waliuzia brighton lamti gilmo la season walipeleka colwell on loan of which niko karibu ku launch attacks on colwell we had so much talk of when you need the next saliba but he, that's a story for another day <laughs> <laughs> anyway so and okay ngale in return chelsea wananunua kaisedo sanchez kukurela at very astronomical prices mm-hmm. and it's not not yet really worked out for them and so might, uh, uh, and they might also go for ivan fagasol for 200 million yes at a porter Excellent. didn't work wakajaribu <laughs> the assistant wa porter bruno yeah. didn't work mm-hmm. so na brighton pia walikuwa wamepata win moja last week but it was not against forest yes Agnes it was forest. it was end to end stuff not very convincing mm-hmm. their first win in their last seven and chelsea chelsea lipigo very Plus. convincingly na injuries team again in economic injuries in newcastle so brighton play on injuries they yeah, very very bad injuries kakina kakina the lack of kina mitoma yes and record ya chelsea home is very poor shaky so brighton might get something and i'd i'd love to expect goals in this game because easy teams zote brighton have not kept a clean sheet yet this season yeah true na easy teams zote zina concede so gabriel can give us your thoughts yeah chelsea brighton uh chelsea walikuwa kicheza vizuri before newcastle Uh, even Pochettino ali point out yes uh, vile the lack of determination kwa hiyo game but all in all tumekuwa tukisema vile Chelsea imekuwa ikiimprove so i think hii ndio itakuwa game ya kushow how good they are mm-hmm. regardless of their loss against Newcastle so i think waki focus na wacheze the game zenye tumekuwa tukiona i think wata watapata something in it uh, but pia sita under grade new nini Brighton pia wanakuanga good side but uh, a on form so far so i think itakuwa itakuwa a good thing for chelsea na anaweza edge at a 3 points so score prediction chelsea 3 newcastle ah brighton 1 uh, vincenzo 
Yeah, your he, thoughts up on a prediction quickly. In a game, it, 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 it tricky for both teams, but we can go the last time Chelsea played against against Brighton. I think it was a, in a camp competition. Uh, Chelsea dominated Brighton, and they, it's like they won easily. Though it's scoreboard they equal that much yes, yes. big, big, big margin. And uh, I think Chelsea just do the same thing because uh, yes, Brighton is a good side. They are a very good side, but they have been struggling also. They have been really trying to tie to grand result in Mekata. Expect from the last two games, the Premier League against Forest and the and the Europa League game, Walshinda one nil against like Athens. So uh, yes, Brighton uh, hold a very big competition to Chelsea. They have so many players up, but Chelsea will come come up victorious quite game. I think Chelsea will just win this game like three zero. Chelsea win. 3-0. Yeah, because uh, okay, this our attack here Brighton they are not the, that good. Yeah, when you come the season. I love you know on a Cosales Park yeah. Yes, but yeah, Maumia. Yeah, for the I love Mitoma Pia Yuko. Yeah. I know but I see so bad just come rude my bad. But they just have me there. The kids are trying like na Adingira, kina Joao Pedro, Ivan Ferguson but is not yet clicking especially kwa big boys na Chelsea wana attack wana try kutoka huko penye wako they will beat Brighton 3-0 3-0 yes. weka hapo kwa notes yeah ah uh, mimi Gabriel can prediction at will go 3-1 Chelsea 3-1 Chelsea. Mm. Chelsea yes i think i'm also going to back Chelsea because the way Brighton play might play into their favor cuz Brighton wacheza kama hizi big teams open yes. fluid attacking <laughs> na tumeona poach against hizi team ana huwa sana on transition exactly and FPL no any Sterling I'll go at Chelsea 2-1 2-1 win 2-1 win Chelsea yes. okay fine cuz it's only clean sheet That's for anyone clean sheet. sheet yes and to our biggest fixture of the weekend mm-hmm. Man City welcomes Tottenham Hotspurs and the Etihad stadium Etihad yes. Etihad Pep's bogey side in the Premier League since Pep joined Man City in 2016 They have lost more Premier League games against Spurs six than they have against any other opponent. So Spurs will pick City sana. Haaland is unbeaten in all 32 games in which he has scored. So it's a quite interesting game because of the way Spurs try to play and the way City play. And kuna time ataka as much as me jokes alisema I just copy Pep. <laughs> so he's coming now head to head then we have so much to talk about except for injuries the spurs city con a few injuries stones might be back mm-hmm. so here yeah, a very huge boost especially city we have issues controlling last few games without stones true cuz ana proven kama lazima ashike rodrim kono masa ingine masa ingine yeah because stones is very good in defensive work and uh, he try to read the game very well kwa kwa, kwa some small spaces in uh, then nobody expected the ball progression so, right? and, yeah so it's like they have a good partnership with rodri but the game game so far so good nikianza na spurs spurs they, are, they became the fifth team in premier league history to lose three games in a row where they have taken a lead in each of the in each of them like igi mechelsi 4-1 wali wa kwanza against wolves against villa they have lost yes. three games in a row so going to the fourth game It's like on paper in Akane kama that they lose the fourth game in a row because after having a very tremendous and wonderful start and uh, Ange ni kitu itakuwa ngumu sana kwa especially coming to 80 yard ingekuwa wako wako kwao at Tottenham stadium ni ngapatia very big chance because kangalia to start the last four meetings between Chelsea between sorry between City and uh, Spurs ni two wins two wins uh, for both teams so it's a very tricky match for both teams a very tricky match for City and and the spurs so I expect uh, a city win hapa ni kitu haitakuwa surprising because city are, are good also the defensive wise if Tottenham make those uh, those transitions out the counter attacks uh, the Akinason Johnson and or quick clinical them at trouble city kama vinya Chelsea defend so uh, i go with a uh, city 50 win 50 yes Gabriel Kan <laughs> oh, okay yeah man city tottenham man city the best team probably in the world tottenham wana struggle i think tuliongelelea vile anji mambo itachemka huko mbele and tumeona i don't think wako wana stand any chance though wanacheza good ball regardless of the the injuries good ball but your highlight hiyo yeah. highlight i think wanaenda ku face uh, 
a very dangerous side a very dangerous yeah, yeah, side go go play your high level kucheza ile na najua at risk yeah. eh ju ameonesheni mtu ako risk at risk yeah. and it play against them especially yeah. consider record ya city at mm-hmm. 23 games and beaten uh, 24 games and beaten 23 games we win in a row yeah so hey, I, i fear for them if they play that high line of which na shuku will play i'll go city 4 city 4 City 3 3 nil 3 nil 3 nil city yes forward 4 nil yeah nil the the pass for the yes yeah what are the but in my thing I'll go city 4 nil 4 nil if they if we play that high line city yeah. should go down to 6 or 7 because city can assess so 3 nil 4 nil 5 nil oh, oh yeah i want <laughs> to get round up up in the next like 4 5 minutes Bournemouth versus Villa the Basque derby what an is Basque managers from Spain the Basque region mm-hmm. Bournemouth now 7 points clear of relegation player focus Oli Watkins has a 10 goal involvements last eight Premier League games Villa away from me on Duni ni polo opposite ya their home form I think Bournemouth might get something up if they are brave mm-hmm. yeah if they are brave Vizuri and take their chances I think they might get something I'll ba- I'll go for a draw maybe mm-hmm. in this game mm-hmm. Crystal prediction yako before twende kwa Palace. Bon ya yeah, Bon Mota San Villa. Yes. Bon Mota San Villa San Villa away they tend to struggle but I think I will give them a a, a tick kwa hii game because after getting that away win against Spurs they might have something. So Aston Villa 3 Bon Mota 1. I'll go for a draw up. Can I think Bon Mota atashinda? Bon Mota atashinda. Yeah. Like uh, I think I'm going to some few good games at home. Yes. And Aston Villa wamekuwa ki struggle at away. Mm-hmm. So basing on that sina mingi ya kusema I just think watashinda mm-hmm. a slim win maybe at 1. At 1 win. Mm. Okay, yes, London Derby Palace versus West Ham. Palace are on a very poor run losing four of their last Premier League, of their last five Premier League games as many as they did in their first 18 games tangu Roy Hodgson na Chukwe. Olise back from injury and informed scored against Luton Eze and Dukure out injured the even big blow West Ham on steady ship kidogo won their last two Premier League games more victories than they managed in their seven previous games think up to the quickly score prediction to Kisonga West Ham win West Ham win yeah West Ham win to 1 2 and also back uh, West Ham win draw mm. a draw mm. goalless on the other potential ah. a goalless draw i uh, could have potential but i think maybe 1 1 Yeah, yeah, slim, yeah, a slim draw. A slim draw. Yes. At Anfield versus Fulham. Yes. Liverpool only lost one of their last 10 games against Fulham. Mm-hmm. Alisson out for two weeks with a hamstring. That's a big blow for Liverpool. Yes, but I think it's a favor because two weeks ni kidogo as Ali reported they'll go on a suspect in the core five. So two weeks it's a chance for Kelaha to prove na alianza vizuri last season but Liverpool pia have a good squad firing yes. line yao will cover any shortcomings that might occur in the defense. Lopia ugenga Van Dijk is back at, at his form so he might yes. organize the team very well as the captain na uh, as a team going forward. Liverpool in midfield they protect defense so mm-hmm. attend to concede yeah. but I don't expect Fulham to get anything at Anfield. Yeah so he game ugenga la vizuri there is only one king Mo Salah. So if Mo Salah scores against Fulham he will become the first African player to score on 50 goals and first non british player to score 200 goals for liverpool it and it will extend this goal or assist streak at anfield to 16 premier league games that's more sala record at anfield sala kifunga to bao naandika record mpya ni kama to alan alan yani iko champions league iko premier league now kila bao ni kila bao ni record bao record akiguza to net record record anyway thank you very much so yes. we've predicted our five games yeah five games very well Yes so Rudia trees of predictions and then we conclude. Our predictions kwa if he game week 14 yeah na tukiangalia pia game week 15 because a double is a double game week tunakuja hapo mbele na na preview tutapiga very, very soon. Arsenal versus Wolves is our first game. Yes. Yes, uh, Gabriel Carr may predict 3-1 Arsenal win. Javier may predict 2-0 Arsenal win and me have predicted 2-1 win Arsenal win. Yeah, Burnley Sheffield United Burnley at home. Gabriel Carr may predict draw 1-1. 
Uh, I have guessed I predict uh, Sheffield win 1-2 and I have predicted a 2-1 win for Burnley. Yeah, Forest versus Everton, Nottingham Forest at City Stadium. Yes, Gabriel Cano will predict another 1-1 draw. Mm -hmm. Have you guessed another 2-1 win for Forest? And I, I have predicted Forest to get three goals against two versus Everton. Newcastle versus Manchester United at St. Rhys James Park. Yeah, sorry, Chelsea fans. <laughs> yeah, Gabriel Cano will predict a United win 1-2. Have you guessed 3-1 Newcastle win? And I have predicted 2-0 win for Newcastle United. Isaac to score. Chelsea versus Brighton. So our last fixture for your prediction here too. Uh, Chelsea, Gabriel Khan, I predict 3-1. Uh, have you guessed 2-1? And I have predicted Chelsea to score 1, 2, 3 goals against Brighton. Yes. Yeah, so thank you very much. I think we'll finish there. Watch out for our review on Monday. Thank you very much, Gabriel Khan, to Malizia show, Leo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Back um, Masaya, Masaya Gioni, Masaya Mwisho. Yes, uh, Thank you, viewers. Yes. See you again yeah. on Monday. Yes. Soccer Connect. Where the game comes alive. This is the first December. Fixtures in Akuba, fixtures mingi December. So always tune in at Soccer Connect because this is the best football analysis show in 254. Yeah. Kudos.